team is going to be led in by Captain Nelson. The Indiana National Guard's Weapons of Mass Destruction Civil Support Team is establishing its operational footprint at Exercise Vigilant Guard. They are one of 55 National Guard CSTs located in each state and U.S. territory. We are the first line for the Army National Guard to the, the first responder community. We have Air National Guard and Army National Guard personnel on our team. We have communication specialists. We also have an information system analyst. So we have operations and a command and control section. We have our survey section. We also have a medical section with a science officer, a senior medic who is also a lab specialist, and we have a physician's assistant. An incident commander has to request a CST. We don't live any further than one hour out. And we all come in, and the very first assets that will come on scene will be the ADVON, the advanced party. And we begin immediately starting to assess what's going on and determine what we need to respond to the incident. Team members quickly set up their decon line so they can send people downrange to survey any potential hazards. Their communications section deploys a satellite dish to provide the incident commander with a myriad of communication assets. The civil support team is where it should be, right down here in the Army National Guard. We are for deployed in our area of operation. We live here in Indiana. Uh, CSTs live in their communities. They're from those, those areas, those states, those uh, territories, and uh, they know their way around. We already have a relationship with those folks and with the first responder community and whatnot, so it really helps out. CST is a full-time job. Reporting for National Guard Bureau Public Affairs, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rebecca Doucette.